Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a full face of Lila B and this will be the second installment of my brands that I love series. I have done one previous video where I talked about Ilia Beauty and today I wanted to show some love to another one of my all-time favorite brands which is Lila B. This is definitely more of a luxe bougie um brand it's very very expensive some of these products i did receive in pr quite a few products i actually purchased myself so i definitely know the cost of these products i know the value of them i did spend my money on some of these so um, i've always had such a positive experience when working with them and communicating with them and um they're just such a nice brand and i remember at the beginning uh, of the year they reached out to me and I'm sure they reached out to a bunch of other um, influencers and um, asked us if we wanted to send a gift to somebody. This was kind of at the time when there were a bunch of lockdowns going on and people were being forced to stay home and um, uh, not work. So um, I think just the kind of their small way of giving back was to just send some small gifts out to maybe make people feel a little bit better, brighten their day. Um, so I just thought that was so cool. And um, again, I just, I really enjoy this brand. Their products are absolutely beautiful. Very, very pricey as I, I always mention when I use their products and don't feel any pressure like you have to buy these products or anything. Um, I will say they do have minis of um, some of their products. So if you just want to try some things out, I'd maybe go for the minis. So without further ado, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack. Um, we're going to do this just very simple, easy, fresh, monochromatic look using... <clears throat> excuse me, using all Lila B products. So make sure you grab something to enjoy while you watch this video and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's hop right in. The first product I have from Lila B is their A Glow Priming Moisturizer or Priming Oil. Um, I like this, I don't love it for the entire face. So what I've actually been doing is just taking a little bit and you wanna make sure you give it a good shake because it can tend to separate. So I just put some on my hand, it looks like that. And I've just been taking this across the high points where I want a little bit more glow. And I find this is my favorite way to apply it. And actually this type of product where it's very rich very has some slip to it more of an oily product works really nicely under their cream foundation because i find that that one sometimes can be a little bit more on the dry side so you don't have to necessarily use this product but any kind of just rich moisturizer something that's got a little bit of a slip to it so that the foundation just kind of glides on your skin a lot easier will make the application a lot better all right, so I'm actually gonna do concealer first. This is their Virtuous Veil Concealer and Eye Primer, and I have it in the shade B Radiant. And I got a shade that's a little too dark for my foundation. I don't know if it's because they don't match up really well or what happened, but anyway, my concealer is a little bit darker than my foundation, so um, I'm gonna use it underneath my foundation. Plus, I just like doing concealer first anyway. So I'm gonna use my finger, really warm it up and then just target the areas where I need the most coverage. Um, they did expand their shade range, I believe, recently on this product, so that's nice. I'm gonna blend this out with a damp sponge. And this product is really creamy, so it doesn't take a lot to blend it out. Um, I just like going in with my finger first because I feel like it really warms it up and makes it easier to kind of manipulate and blend. The one thing I will say is I do believe the majority of their products contain coconut oil. I'm going to look it up in just a second and see exactly um, if it's coconut oil or just kind of a coconut derivative. But yeah, that's my only negative thing about it just because I have uh, such a hard time with coconut oil. Alright, so the concealer has caprylic triglyceride, um, so it's not like straight up coconut oil. And then their foundation that we're about to use 
has caprylic triglyceride and it's very 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 low on the ingredient list all right so that's good i also know that their powder products have coconut oil as well which i thought was very interesting but i guess that's why they're so like just beautiful and creamy and just so gorgeous yeah their bronzer has coconut oil and then let me look up their highlighters all right so their cream highlighters have caprylic triglyceride i don't see straight up coconut oil yeah and even their um powder their setting powder what is this called their pressed setting powder has coconut oil as well so just something to be aware of if you are um sensitive to coconut oil like myself um but yeah so i want to do a little bit of highlight before i go in with the foundation so i'm going to take their glisten and glow in be captivating she is absolutely stunning. It's this gorgeous, very rosy, bronzy highlighter. For deeper complexions, this makes a gorgeous highlighter. For someone like me, who's kind of on the medium side, this can really kind of double as a highlighter, slightly like a blush topper. And then if you have really fair skin, this is a great blush slash bronzer. So um, you can use this in a variety of different ways. But I'm just going to take this across the cheek area, just warm up the skin a little bit. Give it a little bit more glow, a little bit of color. I'm gonna take it across the nose. And I will be using their other highlighter later, but I just wanted to kind of lay down a little bit of color first. I've been kind of liking that method. All right, so for foundation, I have, if I can find it, um, all of them look the same, so you kind of have to search. All right, so this is their Marvelous Matte Cream Foundation, and I have this in the shade B Classic. So what I like to do, I, I like to do the same method as the concealer, really get my finger in there, kind of apply it mainly to the areas where I need the most coverage, and then I'll blend it out. This is definitely a little bit more of a dense formula than the concealer. It doesn't melt down quite as much, but it still blends out very nicely. And I would say this shade B Classic is like a perfect match for me. The concealer, a little dark, but this one matches me really nicely, so... I'm just gonna go over everything with my sponge. And I like using a sponge because I feel like it just kind of picks up the excess. With cream foundations, I feel like they can just look really heavy very fast. And if you apply too much, it's very noticeable. So I like using a damp sponge because I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more light and doesn't leave a bunch of product just sitting on the skin. And then if I need to touch up any areas or add a little bit more coverage, I'm just going to go in directly with my sponge and just apply it to the areas where I need some more coverage. And just build that way. Definitely a buildable foundation. I think it's marketed as a full coverage foundation. I've always said that I've never found this to be full coverage. I think it's light coverage, like a good solid layer. You get about light coverage. And then you can definitely build it up to a more light medium coverage but I've never been able to get full coverage out of this, which is fine because that's not really what I'm looking for, but um, yeah, it's described as full coverage and I, I don't really see that, but it's beautiful nonetheless. Like, I'm not a huge fan of cream foundations. Like I said, I find that they can just look so heavy and just make you look like caked on with makeup, but there is something really beautiful about this one. All right, so for cream products, I like to let them kind of melt into my skin, mix with my body heat, and um, just kind of set down for a second. So I'll usually give myself, you know, around five minutes or so um, and just kind of let everything just melt into the skin because right now I feel like it's just kind of sitting on top a little bit. So I'm going to sip on my coffee a little bit and then when we come back we will set it down. All right so I'm going to go ahead and set down my face. I feel like I've kind of let everything just sink in, melt in a little bit. So uh, for powder I have their, here it is, this is their Flawless Finish Foundation. So it is marketed as a powder foundation. On Sephora's website it says it's a pressed setting powder. But on the actual packaging, it says it's a flawless, it's a foundation. So I'm using this in the same shade as the cream foundation, which is B Classic. All right, I'm just going to take my favorite e.l.f. blush brush and pick that up. And then go ahead and set everything down. Okay. 
And if you are wanting more coverage, um, a really great way to do that is to kind of take a smaller, dense brush, pick up some of that powder, and just apply it almost like a concealer to areas where you need more coverage. All right, so now we're gonna use my favorite product from Lila B. This is definitely a standout for me, and if I could recommend one product, uh, I think I would recommend this one. Between this and the highlighters, I would recommend one of these because this has just been one of my favorite bronzers since I tried the brand, and it is their Be Sun Kissed Bronzer. She looks like this, she's very well loved. It is a kind of split pan. I have noticed that depending on what bronzer you get, um, you know, the split is gonna be a little different. And I think that's just way, the way that they pour it and everything, there are, um, you know, differences between the batches, but this is so beautiful. The only bad thing is that there's only one shade. So this is only gonna work for a, you know, one group of people. So I really hope that they expand their shade range on this bronzer. I've said that from the beginning because it is absolutely gorgeous. I think the closest thing that it reminds me of is um, something very similar to the Kosas baked bronzer. Um, in conventional beauty, I would relate it to something like MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, just has a sheen to it, but it's not shimmery or glittery. And it just looks amazing on the skin. So I'm just going to take this on a fluffy duo fiber brush. And start blending this onto the cheeks. Oh, so beautiful so beautiful and this is definitely one of those bronzers that you can just take a large brush go over your whole face you don't have to think it blends itself out and um yeah this is absolutely stunning so this is definitely one of my favorite products like i've completely rubbed off the label but it's just absolutely stunning and i just really hope that they expand their shade range so that everyone can experience how beautiful this is and actually, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I actually have their retractable bronzer brush. Um, she looks like this, and then she just goes in like that. And then it's got the little cap. Um, so they do have that. I actually want to try that today. I have not tried this at all yet. Um, but let's go ahead and try that. I love a good retractable brush because then you can keep it in your purse and it doesn't get all dirty. You can use it for touch-ups. Ooh, that definitely gives more of a concentrated application. That's nice. It's very, very soft. All right, so for highlight, I'm going to use their other Glisten and Glow in the shade Be Enchanting, which looks like this. It looks quite icy and white in the pan, but once you apply it onto the skin, it does not translate that way. So I'm just going to take this on my finger and then just pat this across the high points. And this is a cream to powder formula, so if you have oily skin or if you don't like a very creamy, kind of more tacky feeling on the skin, I think you'll really like this. Because once you apply it, it honestly just feels like powder. It does not feel creamy at all. But it also blends in really nicely. So, yeah, really nice formula. Very different from a lot of cream highlighters in Clean Beauty. They tend to be very creamy, glossy, wet formulas, whereas this one is definitely your kind of true cream to powder. So for blushes, I have quite a few. They have these Divine Duo Lip and Cheeks, um, and I have, a, I have four shades. So I have the shade Be Incredible, which is definitely the lightest shade that I own. It's just a great kind of nudie pink. If you have very fair skin, fair to light skin, I think you would enjoy this shade. I think if you have deeper skin, this probably won't show up that much. Um, I also have the shade Be Lovely, which is more of a richer mauve, but it's not too much. Like, it doesn't overwhelm the face. Um, it's not too, too overly overly much but it's definitely kind of got that more like almost like a brown mauve undertone really really pretty shade and then uh, the first shade I actually ever got was the shade be charming and this is definitely more of that true kind of berry mauve really pretty definitely more on the pinky side pinky berry side and then the most recent shade 
uh, that I'm trying, I actually haven't tried this at all yet, is the shade Be Fearless. And she looks amazing. Again, I haven't tried it on my skin yet, but let me see if I can open it. My hands are all wet. There we go. All right, so this is Be Fearless. Ooh, yeah. Definitely a little bit more of that kind of warmer red. Really, really pretty. So I think for today, I'm going to go in with my favorite shade of the bunch, which is Be Lovely. It's that kind of more brownie shade. And I'm just going to use my finger, really warm up the product. And pat this on the cheeks. And then kind of warm up my fingers. And then blend it out. Yeah, this one I feel like is more sheer than the others. It looks quite rich in the pan, but once you get it onto the cheek, it's very, very subtle. And it's just got the most beautiful undertone. Kind of looks like you got maybe a little bit of sun or got burned or something. It has kind of this reddish brown tone to it. Stunning. And then since we're here, I'm going to apply this to my lips. I have another lip product that I'm going to use, but I'm going to apply this right now. It kind of reminds me of the Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip Tint in Bijou. These are a matte formula. They're really creamy, easy to blend, but they definitely dry down to a nice matte formula. All right, and then I'm just gonna line my lips really quickly with Mineral Fusions Elegant. All right, so they don't have brow products, but I'm gonna try and use one of their eyeshadow quads in my brows. So this is the Palette Perfection Eye Quad in Be Envied. It's a gorgeous array of like almost very fall colors to me. Really, really pretty, but I'm gonna use this shade. It's kind of a gray, which I actually like to use in my brows. So I'm gonna use this in my brows. Hopefully it doesn't come across as too green or anything. We're gonna just try. All right, not too shabby. That actually worked out quite well. I'm going to take a little bit of that on a spoolie. Alright, and then one final step before we move on to the eyes. I'm going to take their Aglow Face Mist. I just have a tiny bit left. Alright, so I have two of their eye quads. Um, I don't think I'm going to use them today because they're quite colorful, but I have their Palette Perfection Eye Quad in Be Fabulous. I have done a look with this on my channel, so I will link it below if you want to see how I use this. It's just a gorgeous array of blues and grays, and then you have this nice kind of creamy shimmery shade. And then I also have the shade Be Envied, which is what I just used in my brows. So she looks like that. Really pretty kind of foresty green burgundy, just kind of nice fall tones, I think. And then they have one that's more on the neutral side, and then they have like a plum one, which looks gorgeous as well. So, all right, so for the eyes, I wanna do something very fresh, just very light and natural, um, but I'm gonna use some of their cream products. So I'm gonna take the Lip and Cheek uh, in the shade Be Lovely, which is what I have on my lips and my cheeks. And I'm actually gonna apply this on my lid just for a little bit of color. I find that these actually work quite nicely on the eyes because they do dry down to a matte finish so they're not gonna slip and slide around. They feel nice, like they don't feel like you have anything creamy on the lids. Um, so they work very nicely on the eyes. And then I'm gonna take the Be, Captiva Be Captivating Glisten and Glow and just pat that right on top just for a little bit of glow, a little bit of shimmer. I'm just going to take a clean brush, just buff out the edge of that blush, just make sure it's nice and soft. And that is it. That's all I'm doing for the eyes. 
very simple, very pretty, very monochromatic. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, apply mascara. They do not have a mascara. And then I'll show you another lip product that I really enjoy from Lila B as well. So I will be right back. Ooh. So last step, I'm going to apply one of their tinted... Oh, Lovingly Lip Tinted Lip Oils. This is in the shade Be Brilliant. It's a really, really pretty nude shade and these are by far the best smelling lip glosses they smell like some kind of sweet candy like sweet tarts or starburst or something i don't know what it is but they smell incredible um, and they have this really big doe fit applicator so let's apply this on top of that lip and cheek that i already applied Right, guys so that completes this video i hope you enjoyed um this is definitely one of my favorite brands so not only do i love their products but i also just love the people behind the brand the team behind the brand i've always had such a positive experience um, when communicating with them and um, they're just so incredibly sweet so definitely check out the brand if you're wanting to treat yourself to something a little bit more luxe um, a little bit more bougie. I think it's nice to just every once in a while get yourself something, um, you know, a little extra special. Um, these look gorgeous on your, you know, your vanity, your nightstand. I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful, beautiful products um, inside and out. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Broken roses. I can't focus, I can't focus.